Evil is organized. It's always, always has been. Preparation is very important because without training, you're, you're reacting. So I'm gonna bring it down to the martial arts world. If you've ever studied jujitsu or if you've ever studied any martial art, what they're trying to do is manipulate you when you keep falling into a trap. If you had the right training under that stress, you'll act more proactively. So your reactions become responses. A reaction is one move, right? But a response often has a, has a plan, has a goal. Um, it can feel, it can adapt. It's the OODA loop, right? Orient, observe, decide, act. And if we know this, we can prepare. A lot of times your reaction is an emotional based thing and it doesn't have much, uh, it might have a lot of passion, but if it doesn't have a goal, if it doesn't have a focus, um, it can be manipulated very easily. And if anyone has an argument with me, I want you to just go to a mediocre jujitsu player and I want you to just roll with them a little bit and you're gonna notice that everything you do is probably going to get you thrown into a trap. And the reason why is because they're prepared. This goes to the Be Like Water, right? Uh, there's a movie coming out about Be Like Water. I just had a bunch of conversations about this. And if we understand what Be Like Water truly, truly, truly means, it's not just adapting, like really dive in philosophically into this because yes, water adapts and flows, but water also has a purpose. Water has a goal. Water is trying to link up. Water is trying to get with a larger body of water. It's flowing around all its obstacles. It takes any shape that it, if you put it in a container, it takes any shape, but its goal is to become a part of a system. Its goal is to become part of a system and it is the element that brings life and nourishes everything around it. So if we're thinking be like water in order to win, we hopefully can actually zoom out a little bit and philosophically understand that water isn't here to win. Water is here to nourish everything around it. If you can nourish everything around it, then that means food grows. That means predators are most dangerous when they're hungry. Predators are dangerous when they feel trapped. And then the other side of predators fighting is just for like reproductive rights or to do something like that. Hopefully we can take this into consideration. So prepare. And know that if you're standing in front of somebody that is prepared and you are not, um, they can oftentimes use your use a reactionary based uh, programming in order to control you. I know you know this, but it's hard to practice this under stress. That's why we prepare. Good training allows the reactions to be towards your best interest. This is important. Don't fuck around with this, right? In nature, we have to understand that there is no truth according to you. You're either prepared or you're not. Um, hopefully your reactions are with a group of people. Hopefully you are in this place to where we're responding towards a goal. The best example of being like water was the Gandhi Salt March. That was a good one. Gandhi saw the resistance and he walked the other way. That is being like water. Sometimes the resistance is the opposite of what water wants to do. Water doesn't like moving uphill. And Gandhi saw that the British army, basically Britain was trying to tax salt and um, Gandhi could have fought them. But Gandhi was about 90 pounds and probably couldn't do a push-up. He was too busy laying around with his little 13-year-old niece naked because he's also a crazy person. But he saw this and he adapted and he, basically didn't go towards the resistance because if that little dude would have tried to fight the army, that revolution would have lasted about three Mississippi and it would have been done. He would have been dead. Um, it would have been an effortless fight and Gandhi would have not been the victor. But instead, he adapted and he just turned away from the resistance and walked towards the salt. He let everyone know that there was plenty of salt around the world is covered, 70% of the world is covered in water and a lot of that water is salt water. So he went and he showed the solution. There was no fight. And this is very important. In the path of martial arts, it's about self-actualization. It's knowing that rarely will you ever see a fish jump on land to fight a land predator. 
you have to bring them into your world. So if your world is intellect, if your world is, um, is community, if your world is building things, use that. Because if you walk into someone else's world, you're gonna play their game, right? It's very important. It's the reason why Mayweather doesn't lose. He doesn't play your game. And if you don't want to think about these things, find somebody that does and just ask them if you can help.